Fall in love again, notabene op Valentijnsdag. Je moet toch altijd hoop houden, weet je niet? Ja. Van Warwick. Je moet wel, hè? Uh, you are listening to a, a vintage radio by Philips. Model numbers 19RB344. Uh, this is uh, made in Italy, by the way. The factory of the Philips in Milano, Italy. They made this radio in 1975. Uh, Philips is a Dutch company, but uh, they have uh, factories all over the Europe. Uh, very good brand, of course it is still. Uh, they move from, uh, they still produce audio equipment, but they move to the to the surgical equipment and so on. But uh, this radio uh, is uh, very nice. It's a wooden cabinet. I'll show you on the back side also. At the same time, the German company Grunding and the Blaupunkt they were making also the table radio similar to that, but uh, they were using a plastic casing, you know, uh, with a, a sort of a, a wooden look. But uh, Philips keep on continuing uh, producing in the wooden cabinet because they look nice and also uh, as the, as, uh, for the in interior decoration, they look very nice in the living room and all those things and uh, this has a uh, one driver uh, basically and uh, it's a am and fm only uh, so uh, only the medium and uh, fm no long wave no short wave you have here the pickup or audio input in connection backside i will show you later where you can also input any other audio source like phonograph and this uh, will amplify it uh, up till uh, four to six watt of mono amplifier. Uh, Philips uh, were quite famous because uh, their audio equipment have a, a very excellent sound quality and this one also they have used those uh, germanium type PNP transistor at the output stage uh, which are quite famous to, to make a warm sound and uh, they use uh, two intermediate uh, frequencies uh, 460 uh, kilohertz uh, for the medium wave and uh, uh, 10.7 megahertz uh, for the FM uh, uh, to 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 use a super heterodyne system. So basically, what it does, the oscillator circuit pick up the signal, and then you have to inject the intermediate frequency in order to amplify it a little bit further. And on three stages, you amplify a little bit further in the buffer stage, and at the end, before feeding to the audio preamp, you have to uh, 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 remove that uh, intermediate frequency which you have injected on the main signal. If you just uh, amplify the signal uh, without intermediate frequency injection in it, then uh, it's a lot of bells and whistles and stability is not good. So uh, it's important that you have to input a local signal into it, mix it, and then you amplify. At the end, when you remove your own intermediate frequency, and then the the main uh, 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 received signal is also amplified at the level that it can feed into the preamp of the audio stage. That's the whole principle uh, commonly used in the sub super heterodyne system. Uh, this uh, radio runs with a 220 volt AC of course and it has a permanent magnet dynamic uh, moving coil loudspeaker uh, like uh, most of the radios they were using and the speaker also is uh, made by Philips themselves. Uh, I will show you inside also if you wanted to see what is inside and the semiconductors which I was mentioning they have used uh, uh, BF194, BF495 uh, and TBA120 and TAA611 those are uh, 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 transistors that were used in this uh, radio. So uh, let's uh, listen some of the audio quality just to mention this is for the tuning you see the, the tuning dial over there with the with the radio stations uh, written on the on the on the dial also in the frequency as well 
and uh, this is uh, for the tone FM AM and this is for the pickup or audio input this is the volume control and off you have the this is not LED this is a lamp uh, you know so the dial has a red color on it so on the back is a lamp you press then the tone is gone you leraren met hem vergeleken en you see it can get very loud but also you feel on the full volume sound is bit distorted because because the driver uh, the speaker they have used could not handle uh, the power output this is the medium wave FM you have to uh, uh, feed in the external antenna for the medium wave it has a ferrite uh, built-in antenna inside uh, but it's quite challenged nowadays to tune in the daytime medium wave uh, because a lot of static and electrical noises in the urban setting it's uh, very hot not many stations they run media wave okay bbc radio france is still they do it and other few other radio stations and so it's also important the filtering circuit from ac which is converting into the dc because if uh, it's not properly filtered then it also make a lot of uh, a noise factor in the reception of AM signal. Ligt een stad waarom rozen te kopen voor Valentijn voor mensen met wie je werkt en dat dan de reactie is: hè, waar heb je die nog? Nee, Mama. Show you on the back side. So the back cover is made of plastic and uh, you have the antenna input here for the FM. This is the power AC card out and this is the DIN connection for audio input and it's very easy to open one two three four Phillips screw and then you are inside the radio okay let me do it for you guys give me a second okay a piece of advice uh, don't open any elect elect electronic or electric equipment by yourself unless you have any education or background uh, in the electronics or elect electrical uh, education or experience because there is a risk of uh, uh, electrocution so I don't advise anyone to, to open just for the sake of opening but a few of my viewers they always ask especially whenever I have a vintage equipment and uh, they are technical also they wanted to see uh, how uh, the circuit uh, uh, were implemented in the past you know so for uh, those people I am doing it but a piece of advice, uh, don't open it by yourself unless you are not uh, educated and experienced with electronics and uh, uh, 
electrical systems also disconnect the power even after disconnecting don't touch the electrolytic capacitors like that okay on this radio they're not high voltage but uh, tube uh, radios from the old time uh, their uh, electric shock can be lethal so don't do it uh, for the sake of those people who are interested to see uh, this is a speaker made by Philips you can see and this is the power step down transformer so 220 voltage are going there going out 6 voltage and you see um, let me see if uh, you can have a better view yeah that red thing you see square thing there's a bridge rectifier which is four diodes in the circuit and they convert uh, alternating current into dc these are filter capacitors and then you filter to reduce all the hum and the noises which ac carries because ac is changing alternating current is changing polarity 50 to 60 times uh, per second so that uh, uh, create oscillation basically to to uh, to remove that oscillation because radio signals they pick it and you hear the noise this is a fuse over there for any short circuit uh, to prevent and you see one two three four uh, switches one is for a, a tone control on and off other is selecting am fm are uh, the din audio input and you have the the variable capacitor or the gain capacitor for tuning an fm signal this is ferrite antenna with this coil is for the am the medium wave and you see the white yellow and the red this is the uh, uh, the the red one is oscillator circuit those other are the if which are creating a, a intermediate frequency of 150 uh, 460 kilohertz injecting in the oscillator circuit amplify it and at the end is removed this is uh, for the am and you see further and other core that one uh, that is for the 10.7 megahertz for the fm and uh, yeah impressive very simple circuit design not rocket science and yet this radio is very well built and they are not very expensive also so this uh, philips made in milano italy factory of philips uh, do the excellent job still at that time you know uh, engineers they were making things which can uh, which were built to last you know just imagine from 75 till now nothing has changed high quality electronic uh, components are used even the uh, mostly these uh, uh, electrolytic capacitors are the culprit but they are still doing fine and uh, simple circuitry uh, and it does the job and it does the job for yeah many many decades and uh, you see uh, the thread over there connected uh, to the to the bar which is in the dial showing the frequency the apron mix not uh, it's not digital uh, PLL readout where you can get the exact frequency uh, display but it gives the average plus minus five to six kilohertz on the medium wave uh, to give you idea which uh, uh, station you are tuned in so That is the that is the Philips uh, radio model number 19 RB344 from 1975. I hope you guys like it. Until next time, thank you for watching.